Hello friends, welcome to my new video on transformer and its rating. By the end of this video you will be able to answer the following questions. Define a transformer. List the basic parts of a transformer. Briefly explain the working principle of a transformer. Briefly explain how the rating of a transformer is specified by the manufacturer and why the rating of a transformer is given in KVA or MVA. So what is a transformer? Transformer can be defined as a static piece of device used to transfer electrical energy from one circuit to another circuit by electromagnetic induction without any electrical connection between the two circuits and also the frequency remains the same. So the points to be noted are it is a static device that means there is no moving parts so the losses will be reduced and comparatively the efficiency will be higher when compared to other equipments uh, like motors, generators etc. And it transfers electrical energy from one circuit to another circuit. That means electrical energy from one circuit is transferred to another circuit but it is done without any electrical connection between the two circuits that means basically it provides isolation electrical isolation between two circuits but the connection is by magnetic means that i will explain in the next slide and here the frequency is also maintained same now the working or working principle of a transformer can be explained with the help of the schematic diagram shown here. A transformer in its basic form has a laminated core with two set of windings wound on it. The one set of winding to which AC source voltage is connected is called the primary winding and the other set of winding is called the secondary winding to which the load is connected. Now what happens is that when an AC source voltage is applied it sets up an alternating flux in the primary coil and this flux links to the secondary coil through the laminated magnetic core and this alternating flux links with the secondary coil and by Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction it induces some EMF or voltage in the secondary coil and if the circuit is closed like this a current will flow in the secondary circuit. So this is the basic working principle or working of a transformer. Now let us discuss about the rating of a transformer or how the rating of a transformer is specified by the manufacturer. Let us consider this circuit with the AC source voltage applied to the primary and a load being connected to the secondary. The load is always specified in kilowatt because that is the power real power which is converted to useful work. Let the load be 100 kilowatt in this case and uh, the transformer is rated as 1 kV 100 kW so let the transformer be rated in kW and let us see what happens and the manufacturer is not sure about the power factor of the load at which the transformer is going to be operated so let us check different power factor conditions that will that may occur during the course of the working of the transformer so let us start with a UPF load so in this case the load is of UPF unit power factor with 1 kV and 100 kV and this will require a 100 ampere current in the secondary circuit. Okay, now let us consider a case 0.5 power factor and this will require a current of 200 ampere to flow in the secondary circuit. And what happens with a 0.1 power factor which can be lagging or leading in this case the current required will be 1000 amperes to make the load 100 kilowatt. Okay, so we have observed different power factor conditions starting from UPF going down to 0.1 power factor and the current changes from 100 ampere to 1000 ampere. But the transformer in this case let the maximum current in the secondary be 100 ampere that is a maximum current the transformer winding can hold is 100 ampere then from the discussion it is clear that only in the first case the transformer will work safely and in the second case itself the transformer car secondary current is very high and when it goes down to 0.1 power factor current is around 10 times the maximum current that the transformer can safely withstand so this may burn the transformer secondary winding 
so this is an issue that happens with the rating of a transformer secondary being kilowatt okay therefore the rating of the transformer is not specified in kilowatt but we have to include this current along with the voltage so the manufacturer can only give the specification in terms of voltage and current rating of the secondary winding here it is 1 kV and 100 ampere and this can be combined and we can give it as 100 kVA which is the apparent power so the secondary of the transformer is rated in kVA or the apparent power or we can say that the power which is getting transferred from the primary side to the secondary side is the apparent power and the transformer has to be rated for the apparent power even though only the active power or the active component of power is what is given to the load and the reactive power or reactive components comes back from the load to the source still that component has also to be handled by the transformers therefore the rating of the transformer is specified in terms of kva or mva okay thank you